was that was something very simple to help you begin to come in tune with your breath work so you can incorporate that and get the full benefits of your workout. And to do that, you put your hands on your ribs, and we're going to just begin to kind of become aware of, of how, where to control and manage your breath. Also, you want to make sure that you're sitting on a, if you have hip trouble and you can't cross your legs, then feel free to roll up a mat, a yoga mat, or a blanket, and sit on it at the very edge on your sit bones. Well, actually, by your tailbone and the sit bone. So that way, you're able to rock your hips forward and your tailbone comes slightly back. And that'll open up your hips and put your spine in that beautiful alignment. So that way, when you breathe in and out, that the pathway is open. So having your position, you can have your legs crossed, uh, either, either in half lotus or complete lotus pose. Whatever is comfortable. The most important thing in good breath work is that you feel that you're relaxed and comfortable. From here, you keep your tummy in and up. You pull your shoulders back. And I like to just have my fingers go right behind me for a moment to just open up my chest and make sure my rib cage open up and I put my spine in, in this beautiful upright position in inhaling. From here, you put your hand on your ribs and just uh, gently press in your feel your rib cage right on your side. And I want you to begin to take a deep breath in. And when you inhale, I want you to feel as though your fingers begin to separate. So you're inhaling deeply, and you're carrying that oxygen that you inhale all the way down to the base of your ribs. And you imagine there's like a, a straw that you're just sipping in that oxygen past your nose, past your throat, and traveling all the way down to your ribs. And feel the expansion anterior and lateral and posterior. The entire rib cage opens up. At the same time, your shoulders stay relaxed. So you're concentrating on drawing that oxygen into one place. And then exhaling. And as you do that, you exhale at the same pace that you did when you inhale. And you inhale again. Drawing that in and sipping that all the way in to the base of your ribs. And then exhaling. Keeping your body upright. Let's put your hand on your chest and see if you can travel that oxygen from your ribs. Bring it all the way up into your chest. And you inhale. And as you inhale, you inhale through your nose and keep that openness and keep that, blood, that um, energy flowing. From the base of your ribs coming all the way up. Now it's coming to your sides and the sides of your rib cage and it's working its way all the way up into your chest as you feel your chest begin to rise. At the same time, your tummy stays in and up. So you're concentrating all that air to bring into your lungs to open, expand, and get the full usage of your lungs. You want to stimulate all that and get that moving. Having your hands on your ribs, breathing in. And out. And in. And be sure when you breathe in that you don't have your chin up. You have your chin slightly tucked in. That'll open up the pathway and the oxygen coming deep down. And out. And again, inhale. Inhale and see how deep you can keep that. Traveling that all the way down. You inhale. Inhale. Inhale, feel it touch into the base, and then control it as you exhale, exhale. Your slight constriction in your, in your throat and in your nose, the pathway, you just want to slightly constrict that a little bit so that way you can keep it steady as you exhale. Now to do a little experiment with your breath work, we're going to go ahead and take the mat out from underneath because we're going to be doing some hip rotation and we need the room. So to do that, you move the mat out and you have your hands on your knees. And we're going to experiment with your newfound breath work that you can be able to incorporate that with your movement. And that will really kind of help you to um, really get better at your breath work and perfect it is by including um, movement, so everything's more tangible. So you have your hands on your knees, you take a deep breath in. And you, again, bring that oxygen to the base of your ribs. 
and then you exhale and you come way back and you're going to scoop your tummy in as your hands are on your knees. So you're going to get, get a beautiful stretch in your neck and shoulders. You tuck your chin in and I want you to try to see if you can push your navel to the back of your spine and let all the air out. Then you're going to inhale, lift up your ribs, lift up your chest, and then bring in all that air as you inhale. Let's suck it all in. Bring it all the way down to the base of your lungs. Opening up into the sides of your ribs. And you exhale way back. All the air is out. Keep exhaling. Let all the air out as you tuck your chin in. Continue that cycle back and forth and learn to see how it feels that you only breathe in when you're coming up and you only exhale when you're coming back. And take it to the very end. Take each breath work to its complete cycle. Don't, short, uh, don't shorten it and rob yourself of really being able to make full usage of your entire lung. So continue practicing with this simple routine to help you sharpen and become conscious of your breath work. As you become better at this little exercise, you'll find that um, throughout all the yoga poses and my raw yoga and very method exercises, you're being more aware and more in tune of when to inhale and when to exhale and how to take it to its full length. So that way, when you're done with your workout, your mind is clear and your body feels like it's been cleansed.